two weeks away from the Combine and a month away from the start of the new league year. So, you know what we call this dead period in February? Speculation season. Already subscribe to the channel to stay on top of everything that happens at the Atlanta Falcons. Let's see what Tori McElhaney has to tell us about this new season. Let's start with who I would like to re-sign. Pruitt stepped up in Kyle Pitt's absence. Pinion was reliable throughout most of 2022. Gossett was an important, and often used, depth piece within the offensive line. And Oliver? I'd like to see what he could do working with Jerry Gray to be honest, especially if the Falcons are going to carry over a few nickel packages into 2023. I believe Evans could provide value in what Ryan Nielsen wants to do with the Falcons, too. The production and leadership is there with Evans. And let's be honest, too, inside linebackers? They're expensive. And with so many needs on the defensive line, I think by prioritizing Evans in free agency you're then able to prioritize different levels of the defense in free agency in the draft. And you fan wondered where McGarry is in this story? So let's go. Certainly Tori thinks he had his best year, but she said. I just can't see spending a ton of money at that position when I really believe that there are some really good linemen in this year's draft. This is hard, because as the weeks have gone on, I've found myself on Team McGarry. I think if this is the beginning of January, I agree with you that he moves on. And I felt that way for similar reasons to you, go draft someone, bring in a vet on a short-term deal, don't spend the money on McGarry when you're, hypothetically, already paying Jake Matthews and Chris Lindstrom a large portion of your cap. How can you justify putting that much money into one position group when there are so many needs elsewhere, too? I don't know if I agree with my January self anymore, though, because I like the idea of keeping McGarry around for a number of reasons. First off, I want this 2022 offensive line to stay together as much as possible. I really do. The connection McGarry and Lindstrom have is pretty special when you watch it and when you talk to them about it. In my opinion, McGarry was one of the best, if not the best, stories of the 2022 season. I am not ready to see that story end just yet. Now tell me fan. Who do you want to see in this new season? Put it here in the comments.